Um, how, how have you been doing? Very well, very good. Yeah, been a good, been a good few hours. You've just done a uh, short UK tour. How has that been? That was brilliant, man. That was really cool. We were out with Manifest and Anterior. Um, musically, we're very different to them, but we're on the same label. We're all heavy, and we just took it out there. And we had a blast. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. Absolute blinding tour, that was. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Okay, so um, obviously, you know, you've just you've just become the rotted. Um, tell us why why the rotted? Why why didn't you stay as garotted? We, me and Ben did garotted for ten years, and we got to a point where we felt that it reached its natural conclusion, and it had, it had reached as far as it was ever going to be taken. And we started to write a new album, and we thought this is just not the same band. And we had new members and. Well, like, let's just do a new band. Let's just leave Gorot as it was with its legacy, and there it, there you go. And then the Rot it here's a new band. Check it out. And it was just as simple as that. It was just so like any band would split up, basically. So, are you trying to distance yourself from the last three albums, or are you? Do you accept the as part of your past? And it's part of our past, yeah, and it's, we're not trying to distance ourselves from them as something we've done, but we are a different band, and we are, we're trying to spell it out a bit more to people, because a lot of people haven't realised that yet, I think, you know, um, we are a different band, you know, there's only me and him left, so, but no, we're very proud of, of Garotted, I mean, it was it was a big part of our life for 10 years. Yeah, you know, so. and if the whole point of starting again was to be proud of what we've done, and say, if you were a huge Garotted fan and it was your number one favourite band, there you go, there's Garotted, here's a new band. Yeah. We respectfully laid it to rest, basically. Yeah. Yeah. It, was just, it just came to an end for us, you know, it was just yeah. proud of those albums, still listen to those albums. So you started, you started really brutal death metal with Garotted. What has changed since then? Why are you playing a, a more kind of punkish, in a way, death metal? I suppose cause we've not been afraid to let any influences in. I mean, with, if you're going to be part of a death metal scene, a lot of bands want to they want to keep it death metal, you know, they might listen to like ISIS or something, but they won't want to throw that into the mix. Whereas we've said, we're, we love punk music, we love New York parkour, you know, we love death metal, we love, you know, thrash, we like classic rock. Let's not, you know, if, if it wants to come into the song, let's let it into the song, you know? Whatever, just, as long as it's got fire and passion and energy, it's, it's in there, you know? And we write in a really organic way, and we don't write, let's, we don't sit down to write something in a certain way, we just, pick up guitars and we play and what comes out comes out and that's what came out mm. so that's what went on the record what will come out next time who knows so you said uh, you know Garoth had run its course you know with um, the Brutal Death Metal do you think the Brutal Death Metal bands that you know carry on putting out the same album do you think they should really you know change what they're doing and I think they should do what's right for them I mean if you still 100% believe in what you're doing there's no reason why you should change it I don't think you should force yourself to change your musical style but I don't think you should be afraid to change it just do what is right for you don't stick to a tr formula because you're afraid to move on but just do what feels right and if you, that's what you're into just do it and fuck off what anyone we else did what was right for us and yeah. other people so you know Vader for example have been playing a similar style of music for what 25 years maybe because they love it that's what's right for them so that wasn't right for us so each to their own exactly that's and that's it. what makes the world go around them. so uh, your uh, your third album um, that was slightly different from the first two albums the first two albums yeah, it was. why why wasn't there this change for the third album you mean Garoy the third album yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Um, with that, it was we were in a different studio. It was it was different writers, really. I mean, you've been the core songwriter for a long time with Garotted, but there was more people adding their influence. We just tried to expand it a bit, and it, you know, it did what it did basically. You know, every Garotted album was written by a different writer as well. So the, the first album was written primarily by me. The second album was written seventy percent by me and like thirty percent by the old guitarist. And then the third album was written sort of three ways between me the bass player and then what was probably the sixth guitarist by then yeah. and then after the third album and we had another guitarist and another bass player and this then we're just like no nah, new yeah. band time yeah you know otherwise the sound that comes out now is going to be so distant from what this band was originally about yeah. so is this just wiping the slate clean then with the rotted carrying forward yeah i mean yeah we're not good right anymore it's me you know it's two members of garotted one member of crater filth two members of screaming demon i mean it's, it's a totally different band mm -hmm. you know so. So I mean, you do. The last time I saw you, did one song from the second album live. Yeah. Do you do you not do any anything from Garotas other than? We did say on this last tour that we just did. We were headlining, so to pad the set out, we did put. We said this is the last time you're likely to see it. I'm it's not saying we'll never do it again. To pad the set out. It was more. 
I felt we'd never played in certain cities like York or Cardiff. Yeah, no. And there was a lot of people there who'd always supported us and bought our records and worn our t-shirts. And as a mark of respect to them, we'll give them some songs. Yeah. You know, we've never, we never played their towns, but we said this will be the last time it happens because the next time we come back to Cardiff or New York or Liverpool, we will probably have another album as, ro- as the Rotty and then we'll have 20 odd songs of our own as a new band to choose from and we won't be including songs that we wrote 10 years ago. Having said that as well, I mean, if we went to somewhere like Mexico, you know, anywhere in South America where they're yeah. fanatic about Garoy, yeah. yeah. we would throw it in because they've never seen it. And, you know, so we would put in the songs for them, you know, and we try and do a long set for them. But, you know, this is the Rotted and you will be, you know, it's, it's going to be more of a focus like on what today, we've got right now. We're yeah. not headlining by any stretch of the imagination today. And we have a short set, so you have to, today you'll get what represents who we are now, which isn't songs from Mutant Lady Minutes here or Garotti. Kind of like he says, if we go over to Mexico to headline for two, play a two hour show, you'll get a load of Garotti numbers because people have never heard them before. Mm, so. Yeah, exactly, you know. Do you think in the future, you know, some, you know, a few albums down the line or whatever, there might be a, you know, Garotti phase where you play some stuff from the old times because other bands have, you know, like I'm made them. Maybe, I mean. They've gone back and played old stuff. Do you think that you might do that sometime? Never say never, you know. I mean, but to be honest, if I, I was, I'm very proud of what I did with Garotti, but if I was, I had a, like, a tenor in my hand and it was, it was nothing to do with me and it was the CD was in the shop and I listened to it, I'd probably go, nah, you know, it's alright, but I'm not really into that at the moment. You know. So I don't think I'd go out and buy it. So, I mean, I enjoy playing the old songs live and it's cool to see the crowd reaction from it, but I think if we've got two rotted albums and that's who we are, why play, why, why just play from the past? You know? And the only way I can ever see it happen is if there was a reconciliation between certain people <laughs> that we're not going to list off and most of them including me and for some reason for a special event or to raise some money we got up and did a couple of songs and it would have to be people who really you know five six seven years ago maybe founding members of the band people who really had a big stamp on what Garoid was about yeah and maybe we'd get up and do a couple of songs at a show just for the hell of it the way I see Garoid that, that's all I could see ever happening Garotted was me on vocals, Tim and Matt on guitar, Wilson on bass, Junkie John on drums. The Rotted is me on vocals, Tim and Jan on guitar, Trod on bass, Nate on drums. So it's it's just a world apart, you know. Are you trying to bring some kind of you know punk elements into it because yeah, the covers all you know. Yeah, I mean Ian Jack and everything, you know, Sex Pistols. And we, I don't I don't know. I mean we we're, we're big punk fans, you know. We're in really into eighties punk music, you know. I'm you know yeah. late seventies, uh, you know eighties, Crass, GBH, Discharge, Conflict, you know. And you can hear it. I mean, we've got a dirty British sound to our music. Um, the Union Jack, I think, mainly was. We wanted this sort of weakling figure who was just on the street, you know, begging and just fucked just out of it. And the background looked kind of weak. We put the Union Jack in there because it represented, you know, life in London, Britain. You know, this is Britain. Just that's Britain. There you go. That that guy is dying. There's there's Great Britain. You know, the, the great oppressed nation. 